Hello dancers! Today's movement is going to be inspired by the book From Head to Toe by Eric Carl. We're going to move along as we read the book. From Head to Toe, written and illustrated by Eric Carl. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you turn your head and look one way and the other? Nice work. I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you make your shoulders go up and down, dancers? Nice work. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you make your arms look like an ocean wave or like a silly monkey? Excellent. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. I know you can clap your hands up high and clap your hands down low. I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. You might even make a gorilla noise as you thump your chest. I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. You might even get on your hands and knees and do your Halloween cat arch. I am a crocodile and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. Show me your shaky hip stancers. Nice job. I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you bend and unbend your knees? Maybe at the same time or one leg then the next? I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? Look behind you before you do your donkey kick dancers. I can do it. Kick up high. I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. Oh, I see your heavy, strong stomps. If you want to challenge yourself, you can even look behind you and try some backward stomping. I am I and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. Nice work. Now we're going to use some of the movements we read in the book to make a quick movement sentence. So remember, a movement sentence always starts with a frozen shape. So find a frozen shape that is maybe inspired by an animal you saw. Maybe you have a gorilla shape or a tall giraffe shape, or a kitty cat shape. Our first movement sentence is going to be, turn your head, raise your shoulders, and wave your arms. Are you ready, dancers? Frozen shape. Ready, turn your head from one side to the other. You can go fast, you can go slow. Now try raising your shoulders. Maybe you raise them at the same time. Maybe you do one and then the other. And last, wave your arms. Wave them up high. Wave them down low. Wave them as you turn. And now freeze in your ending shape. Nice work. Let's try one more. This time our movement sentence is going to go clap hands, wiggle hips, and bend knees. Find your beginning animal shape. Ready, here we go. Clap hands. You can clap fast, you can clap slow, you could even try clapping as you jump up and down. <gasps> nice work! Now try wiggling your hips from side to side. Maybe you even travel a little bit as you wiggle and wiggle your hips to get somewhere new in the room. And last, let's try bending our knees. You can bend two knees at the same time. You could even lay down and bend and unbend your knees in the air. Nice job. And find a frozen shape. Great work. 
All right, your challenge now is to make your own animal movement sentence. What actions from Eric Carle's book will you put in your movement sentence? Remember to always start with a frozen shape and end with a frozen shape too. I can't wait to see what you make.